Hey there guys, welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome back to our QPR career mode. Now, if you haven't been watching the streams, you may or may not know a slight little altercation to some of the gear and the setup. So slight different angle and stuff. And if every now and again, I'm looking in places that doesn't seem normal, then my bad. Obviously, normally I sit and play gameplay this way. The screen is now over here. So I'm going to be looking straight forward and hopefully I don't forget to be looking here, there and everywhere. But uh, welcome to today's episode, episode 30 something. I've, I've actually lost count now of where we are, but we are powering well and truly through the season now. We are hopefully going to make our way into the January transfer window. I think I might end up simming a game today. Um, or what I might do is end up starting one of the games as a sim, or if I take a lead, maybe then I jump into a sim, just so again, I can really start to get through this nice and quickly, because the January transfer window could be a very exciting one for us. We've got some options of things we'd like to try and do, uh, and this season is proving to be a pretty big one. Still sat at the top of the tree with 17 games gone. Let's get to game number 18 and take on Arsenal. Okay, first game of the episode today, and we are up against Arsenal. As I said, you can see a couple of tired legs, but I am going to run with our strongest 11 and make changes in the game. And that's mainly because, obviously, we've got a little while between now and the next game, so we have got a little bit of luxury of being able to freshen up legs and stuff as we go. But, uh, yeah, we'll go with our strongest 11. Let's take them on. Here we are at the Kion Prince. You can see now we've apparently got underground stadium entrance. As someone who's been to Loftus Road, that, no... No, we don't. Uh, we barely have a compound. Uh, we don't have a car park. I don't know where they've got this space from. But here we are back at Loftus Road. All the kind prints as it is obviously for this save. And uh, we've just got to start the game strong today. We've got to take these guys on. And we've just got to give it a go. We've got to go for it. We've got to try our best. We've got to just try and come away with something today at the very least. Three points would obviously be nice. They've got a good solid team. Arsenal in real life. And for career modes, very good, young, uh, exciting team. I'm fairly sure that they didn't have Saka unless I missed him. I don't think they have Saka anymore. So that's a small advantage for us. They've lost one of their best players. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can take on Arsenal today and uh, yeah, start today's episode off nice and strong. And actually, we're doing so pretty well here as Isaac Coles runs through the entire team and hits it wide. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. What a start that would have been. And Isaac Coles, one of the best players to have in a position like that, hits it wide. I was already pretty much ready to celebrate and he spooned it, boys. It could have been such an incredible start. Arsenal are enjoying a little bit of possession here as they're working it forward. They get it back to Guendouzi. Forward hit to Gomez. Lovely overlap there from, I think, Odegaard and Martinelli. The sweat is there. It's a very simple goal and we should have been 1-0 up and instead we are 1-0 down with uh, Martinelli putting us putting us a goal behind it's just not ideal it's it's a, a terrible situation to find ourselves in when we started so well we really really did start uh so positively but since then arsenal kind of just had possession knocked it around that pass to, uh, to odegaard is beautiful and that pass across is all it needs to be he was a goal side of williams and it's one nil to arsenal that is frustrating and we know Coles has got the beating of the defense on this side here. So we're going to just try and keep it with him for a second. And I wanted to find Campbell, but that pass is terrible. There's no other word for it. Got to be careful here as Arsenal bring it forward again. That's a good tackle in the end from Williams. It's going to be a corner to Arsenal. Odegaard potentially the one to whip it in. He does play it short to Frimpong though. Frimpong can't get past Masengo. And Masengo has a chance to try and bring this away. And we have got Chris Willock up there and he is going to hopefully be away here. Saliba's not going to catch him. Chris Willock is running through one-on-one. -on -one. It's two-on-one. -on -one. We're going to play the sweat. Give him a taste of their own medicine. And Tyrese Campbell, 20 minutes in, does get us back in the level runnings with Arsenal here. Level pegging and hopefully a bit more of a, okay, calm, stable. Let's not stress about the early goal conceded. It was a silly one to concede, but we've bounced back nice and quickly. Obviously, still slightly ruined the chance that we missed with Isaac Coles, but well done to Chris Willock. Really good stuff. Masengo doing really well to win that corner or win the ball early off of the corner and start that attack as well. So, no, mate, good job. Fair play to you. Chrissy Willock, good stuff. And obviously, Tyrese Campbell doing Tyrese Campbell things. 15 goals, I think, from now this season. Absolutely incredible. 1-1, one, one, though. Good tackle there from Lopez as uh, Gomez tried to push through. Gomez has been a really, really good player. I think he's someone in Karimovs who does go up pretty quickly uh, and often finds a way to a, a big club and uh, has got his move to Arsenal is uh, being a bit of a pain, a bit of a thorn in the, uh, the side of us here. But we've done all right here to bring this forward. Bit of a chance to work on. It's not really a counter anymore, but Mwepa loses the ball in the middle of the park. It's a shame. Good, good chance of possession, but uh, slightly wasted in the middle of the park. Oh, a lovely pass through again to Erdegaard. Bit of a repeat here of their, their goal that they scored, but Diata's not going to get past uh, our defensive players. And we are going to bring this forward here. Mwepu 
Cuts inside now. To Tyrus Campbell. Takes it past his man. The right back is going to try and keep up with him, but he can't. He's going to try and lay it off to Chris Willock, but it's a good run from the defender. And we don't quite make the way through there. But it was a good chance of a counter. We're looking decent on the ball. It's off the ball. Arsenal look very good. They knock it around really quickly. They knock it around really, really well. And apart from the odd couple, it's not even loose passes. It's just us getting to the player before they can play it off and we win it off of them. Those are where we're really starting to make our chances. But passes like that, it's absolutely beautiful from Arsenal at times. And Diata here, out wide. Going to have to turn around and find Frimpong. It's going to be rotated around here to Gomez. Gomez is who they want in the box here. But Frimpong isn't again going to get past the defender. And we're going to have a chance to bring it away. And now we know for a fact Frimpong, their right back, is massively out of position. Inside here, Tyrese Campbell is going to turn. Plays it down to Chris Willock. Come on, Chrissy boy. Come on, Chrissy boy. Oh, I slowed down too much. Should have shot sooner or should have just kept sprinting. Oh, that's such a shame. I'm going to hold my hands up. Well, I'm not because otherwise I'd drop the controller. But uh, I'm going to hold my hands up and, and say that that was on me. I should have scored that. That wasn't really Willock's fault. That was mine. Nice ball inside here to Gomez. Back to Erdegaard. Knocks it round. Again, lovely tackle there. Our defenders are getting their foot well and truly stuck in. I'm just going to get off the pitch. I won't lie to you. I'm going to do the, uh, the classic ultimate team thing of boot it off, let the ref blurs whistle. But we've played well. We've been a little bit unfortunate. I think we could have probably or should be uh, in the lead here. But... It just hasn't peered out that way and we've wasted a couple of chances uh, and instead we go in at the break 1-1 one, one. instead of easily being 2-1 up. We really should have been. Uh, Mwepu is going to make his way off because he is quite tight. Elba Sir is going to come on, get some more minutes, which I'm absolutely fine with. Big, big fan of Elba Sir since he's sort of started working his way into the team. Mwepu is going to be missed, of course. Mwepu is a hell of a player, so it's not like we're just uh, making that change willy-nilly and, and it, you know just chucking somebody off the pitch. But I think man like Manbimbi is going to have to make an appearance in the second half. Maybe Trossard as well, two attacking changes. If we feel like we need to shore up the defence, we've got Ozzy Kakai for either fullback position um, or, of course, we have Jimmy Dunn for the central back uh, position. But, mate, it's, it's going to be a big, important second half here. And hold on, we're starting pretty well. Tyrese Campbell is going to get it back here from Willick. Tyrese Campbell on his left foot. And Tyrese Campbell, boys, makes it 2-1. Exactly what we needed. It's as good a start as we had in the first half. But this time we found the back of the net. I think it just goes to show how clinical... Tyrese Campbell has been for us since I was really starting to give him that second chance and, and give him that second lease of life. Since we've given him that second chance, he has been nothing short of perfection. But lovely run from Chris Willock, sort of playing that second striker role and the finesse is perfect. I mean, Leno's getting absolutely nowhere near that, is he? Beautiful stuff from Tyrese. Finds the back and that gets his brace. Two for today, 16 for the season, I believe. And mate, it's 2-1. Just like that, he turned it around. Arsenal knocking it about nicely again. Odegaard's going to get a little bit of a chance, bit of space in the middle, plays it across to Gomez. Good effort, but Lafont. It's equal to it. It's straight at him, thankfully. I think, uh, again, I I've got a lot of faith in Lafont because he really has been fantastic since bringing him in. Only a couple of real mistakes and a couple of goals conceded total. But, uh, yeah, I I've always got faith in Lafont, especially when it's kicked straight at him. El Basir here. Nice bit of play. Going to try and play it across here to Masengo. Does so quite nicely. Going to have to rotate it, I think. What I'll do is at the end of this chance, whatever happens, hopefully a goal. It's a good effort. It's straight out, Leno. Uh, when the ball next goes off the pitch, I'm going to ready some changes. I think there's going to be some tired legs, and I think we need to uh, need to mix it up a little bit. Again, we've got a long break between now and the next game. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be good to get some uh, rotation in. Oh, good pass there. Neko Williams has got to be back and equal to this as Martinelli works his way forward. Gomez on the ball now. Back to Martinelli because one of the defenders was very deep. I think it was Lopez was very, very deep there. But the uh, the flag has saved him ever so slightly. And uh, we're going to have to make a change to Amos here. He's absolutely done his feet. So Manga's going to make his way on. Uh, and what I'm going to do, Tyrese Campbell is the more tired of the two. Man like Man Bimbi is going to come on at striker. Uh, we know he's bloody good at it. He's been so good for us. In the last episode, he was nothing short of perfection, let's be honest. Uh, but the remaining two changes, Tyrese Campbell and Luke Amos going off. Uh, and we bring on Man like Man Bimbi and uh, Hum Humarana Manga. I forgot his first name already. But uh, yeah, Man like Man Bimbi obviously fills me with, uh, with confidence because we know how good he is. But uh, yeah, good to see a couple of the youngsters making their way in. El Basir and Manga, two of our midfield three. It's things you'd have to see, boys. Manga on the ball, going to look out wide here and find Chrissy Willock. We know we've got the pace of man like Manbimbi in the middle, but Willock's going to have to turn because the option isn't really there. Turns and finds Manga. Manga's going to turn into Manbimbi. Manbimbi with an effort, but it is blocked. But Manbimbi nearly wins a header as well and nearly gives Willock a second bite of the cherry. But... Boys, we're looking good. Manga Manga does impress me, I have to say. Despite his rating, he plays really quite well, and I, I like him on the ball. Oh, lovely ball here. Chrissy Willock finds Manbimbi. Manbimbi's got the pace. Botman is not going to catch him. Manbimbi across the goal. 
Oh, it's so close. Man like Mambimbi nearly makes it three. Doesn't quite find the back of the net. That would have been a terrific, terrific example yet again of how good this man is off the bench. He is the epitome of a super sub as it stands. Jordan Henderson making his way off and Lakonga's making his way on. Uh, they brought on two DMs. Uh, they brought on Lakonga and they brought on uh, Torreira uh, in this game. So they're, they're sort of shoring up the midfield a little bit, but uh, no more attacking threats. To be fair, they've got very good attacking threats anyway in Diata, uh, Erdegaard, Gomez uh, and Martinelli. So uh, maybe they don't really need to shore up the front four, but uh, we've got to defend pretty well against it anyway here. Masengo. Uh, has honestly probably been my man of the match today. Yet again, they're just intercepting. masengo has been nothing short of perfection. Uh, even before the midfield changes, he was the, the gem of the three of them. But man like Mambimbi makes his way forward. Man like Mambimbi left foot into the top corner. You cannot stop this man from scoring. You physically can't. You can try, but you will fail. He has been absolutely incredible. I'm so happy for him, man. I'm so, so happy for Mambimbi. He is truly truly proven to be one of the best pickups we had thank you so much for the suggestion you know who you are you absolute gem but uh yeah that that is a beautiful finish man bimby top corner 3-1 86 minutes in i'm not going to jump to sim because there's not really much point but i'm gonna if i get the ball we're just going to keep it we're gonna we're gonna play it sensible uh, and see this one out martinelli on the ball here out wide for arsenal we've not had a touch of it since uh the ball had uh, since we scored our goal. But there we go. We get our first touches. And that is going to be all she wrote. Surely there it is, boys. Absolutely fantastic. What a result that was in the end for us. I, I cannot begin to explain how solid Masengo was today. Uh, playing as a sentiment and then playing that DM role. He had an absolute blinder today. He really, really did. But well done to the full team. Everyone did their part. Everyone did their, uh, their bit and pieces. And I have to say absolutely absolutely over the moon especially after going one down this chance here from Coles I'm I'm still confused as to how he's missed it it's not even that close it's actually not even that close oh man that's disappointing but again huge result it's a big win and I am very happy very happy with that indeed and we stay comfortably at the top of the table seven points clear of Liverpool uh, we now have a nice long break until our next game which I believe is Man United which we're now playing the new fifth place Man United. But uh, yeah, I think we will just crack on. Same again. Okay, here and ready for our game against United. Away this time and up against a pretty darn good team. A couple of players in there. One especially that I don't think should be in the game anymore. But sadly, my game was made before that all kicked off. But uh, yeah, it's uh, our strongest team. Everyone's fully rested as we sort of expected. Um, McCallum's on 80 rated, which is nice to see. But uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Here we are at Old Trafford, uh, a stadium I've been to one time and one time only. And uh, it was uh, not the best result for QPR. Hopefully today we can turn that around and have a slightly bit of a, a better fortune, shall we say. But you see the Cristiano Ronaldo Tifo, things you do love to see. Hell of a player and somebody that I'm not looking forward to playing against today. But hopefully we can turn it around and, and exceed expectations. We're already doing so in the league. Obviously, sat atop of the tree, which I don't think many people expected, me included. I did not expect to be in that position uh, in this season by any stretch of the imagination. But we are going to crack on. We're going to get into this game and hopefully come away with, again, a nice little bit of, uh, little bit of form. Three points would be uh, pretty good right now. Let's find out. Konyuas, Chris Willock here inside to Tyrese Campbell. Chris Willock's going to get it back going to play it to Campbell. I was trying to play it to Isaac Coles. I won't lie to you, but Campbell's going to keep it alive. Look at Chrissy Willock. Look at Isaac Coles. It's a good block from the defender. Tyrese Campbell. Boys, what a start. It's We're starting so well in games. We just didn't convert in the last one, but we've started tremendously here and we have found the back of the net. It was a bit all over the shop. It could have been any of the front three to find the back of the net, but it's kind of fitting that it was Tyrese Campbell. Let's be honest. The man of the moment. Absolute unit. Played it across. Again, I wanted a pass from Willock across to, uh, to Coles and it went to Campbell. I wanted a pass across to Willock and it went to Coles. It was all over the shop, but man like Taurus has found the back of the net. He's been nothing short of fantastic for us in this save. And he continues that 17 goals in 19. What a player. Pellegrini making his way forward. Played it out wide now. Plays it back to Tellez. They've got Kessie in the middle as well. Hell of a player. Kessie. Plays it across there to Samare. Samare is going to get tackled. And now we have a chance to bring this forward here. Look at the pace we have going forward. Isaac Coles with a beautiful ball over the top. Rand's going to try and get there. Or oh, he does eventually, eventually wins it. But Tyrese Campbell had him beaten there. Had him beaten. 
So be careful here. Marcus Rashford plays it down the wing, plays it inside. It's played back and around a little bit here, knocking it around sort of not too dissimilarly to how we were playing it. But now Rashford's got a little bit of space. Lopez gets back and does very, very well there to get in the way of that one. That could have been terrible for us. Could have been absolutely terrible for us. And it might have actually been Figueroa. Actually, no, I think it was... I think it was number five, which is Lopez. I'm not too sure. I'll tell you what I'm sure of. McCallum absolutely bursting through here. McCallum's just going to keep going. Just going to keep going. He has got the beating of anyone catching him up. And I think, I think he's offside here. Is he? He's not offside. Boys, Chrissy Willock is not offside. That is 2-0. Mate, Sam McCallum with a beautiful cross pass there to Willock. I feel like I'm, I'm Martin Tyler commentating on any goals scored from anyone who's not a top three team. Just absolute dead emotion. Things you'll love to see. What a ball that is there across. And then Chrissy Willock. David De Gea gets absolutely nowhere near it. I thought he was offside. I thought he was so, so offside. I don't know who the player is that was like nearest on this, uh, this defensive side here. I think it's Williams. I just assumed Williams was keeping him off. Hold on. Let's find out. Let's find out. As soon as he kicks it, there. That's got to be a close call, boys. That really does have to be a close call. I, I, looking at that there, I'm still convinced he's offside. I won't lie to you. I'm still almost 100% sure he looked off to me, but I will not complain. VAR, eat your heart out, boys. It's 2-0. What a start. Amos brings this ball forward really nicely, taking a good couple of players out of uh, sort of the situation here. Now Masengo's making a very Chris, Chris Willock-esque run, I should say. And hold on. Oh, mate. 3-0, and that would have been the game pretty much put to bed, I won't lie to you. But sadly, Tyrese hits the bar. De Gea yet again getting nowhere near it, but this time he didn't need to as it has come off the woodwork. But 2-0, and we're sitting so comfortably. A third, I think, is very, very plausible. And if we get it, I, I think that's game set and match, boys, I won't lie. Mwepu looks up wide here and finds Isaac Coles. Isaac Coles, going to cut inside, plays it inside back to Mwepu. Mwepu, edge of the box. You guys know what we're going to do with Mwepu at the edge of the box, surely. Oh, Frankie Lampard, eat your heart out, boys. What a goal that is from Mwepu. You love, you've got to love a long ranger. I've been seeing the comments asking for more of them. We had to try it, especially when I saw a man like Mwepu on the ball. And what a strike that is. United are absolutely all over the shop right now. We are playing them off the park and that is a beautiful goal from Wepu. Slightly gutted they've not replayed the shot. They've just shown that it went across the line and it goes a little bit further across I'm sure. Uh, but mate there we go. Absolutely beautiful from Wepu. Yet again another screamer from him from the middle of the park and uh, I won't lie to you. We'll be starting the second half on a sim boys because we are playing incredibly. Maybe one last chance here before half time. Ah, it's going to just be blocked by the defender. I don't think we're going to get much more from it. Even though the AI are on the ball, ref, you going to give him more time? No, he doesn't. And that will be half time. And what a first half that was, boys. That's one of the best first halves or sort of halves of football I've played in some time uh, on the uh, the old career modes. I am very, very happy with that. Uh, yeah, what, what a start, boys. What a start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some changes uh, and we're going to jump in to the second half as a sim. Uh, I'm going to take off Campbell because he's a little bit tired and I'm going to give Trossard just a couple of minutes uh, because obviously he doesn't get too many minutes uh, these days. So I'm going to throw him onto the bench uh, and then we'll see if anyone really gets tired in that second half. Uh, it looks like Amos is a little bit tired, but not nothing crazy. Uh, but yeah, I will, I will jump to sim. I'll show you guys highlights and if I need to jump back in, I'll jump back in. Well, the first chance since the uh, the break, and it does fall United's way, and it is in the back of the net. Cristiano Ronaldo with a tap in in the end. I've made my last two changes, by the way. Uh, El Basir has come on uh, for Muepu, and uh, Ozzy Kakai has come on for uh, Williams. So, last two changes are made. Nice bit of rotation. I also tried to bring on Jimmy Dunn, but I forgot. I'd only made my three changes. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm confident the boys will see this out. If it goes to 3-2, I will jump back in. Uh, but yeah, the boys have played really well and that, that literally was the first chance either way. Good save there from Lafont. Uh, the goal from uh, Ronaldo was the first chance that either side had had. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate, but 3-1. 3-2. Uh, uh, guess what I'm doing? I am jumping straight back in. 10 minutes to go. Ronaldo with a brace. No, thank you. I am not running the risk of throwing this one away, boys. 3-2. Let's just, let's just calm it down a bit. Oh, this is not good. 
Oh, good save, Lafont. I can't. I actually can't believe that. I genuinely can't believe that. Earlier on in the play, I've played a very simple pass. I can't even remember who it was now. I think it was Trossard, and it's hit his own foot and just like trickled away to the other team. I can't. I actually can't believe that. Royce, who's just come onto the pitch. Oh, I'm. I'm genuinely quite annoyed. I mean, that's what I get for jumping to sim, right? But I'm actually fuming at that. I, I cannot believe that we've conceded. And oh man, God's sake, Tom. Not long left here. McCallum's going to burst his way forward. He's already done it once where he's burst forward and helped us get something. He's played it inside now to Coles. Coles tries to play a pass across. It's not a great pass. The run from Elvis here was sort of the best he could do, but the pass from Coles is terrible. And I'm, I'm actually mad at myself here. I'm actually fuming because that, oh, that last goal is so annoying. I want to watch the replay. I don't think it's going to show me all the way back to the, the pass, is it? No. But here, look, I'm trying to use, I think it's number five, to close it down. And he's going the other way, man. I'm genuinely annoyed. I, I apologize, but that's that's actually pissed me off. All right, we have to brush that aside a little bit. We have to take it on the chin. Uh, and we also have to be happy with the fact that Liverpool actually lost 2-0 to Palace. So we actually go eight points clear. We gain a point further on the rest of the pack. Another two would have been nice. Uh, obviously, would have been 11 points clear and sitting, or 10 points clear, I should say, and sitting very, very comfortably. Uh, a couple of offers coming in very quickly. Uh, so Masterson had an offer, uh, an offer Thomas, by the way, which I've accepted for a million, uh, and I'm just going to accept this as well. Uh, some players at this point, I just want to let them go, get a little bit of money in and, and free up some uh, some money and stuff for other signings. Uh, Mambimbi, a little bit miffed that he didn't play, uh, but that's mainly because I made the changes to shore up the team after bringing on Trossard, but my mistakes i guess uh newcastle will start with a sim and again if i need to jump in i will they're an 18th i'd like to think we'll be okay but uh i will start this one with a sim if i can sim the whole thing then we'll play the whole brighton game but uh yeah i'll get the team ready okay you can see the team here again we're going with our strongest 11 if i can keep this team going out and playing every minute or as many minutes as i can then i will do just that i think it makes the most sense to run the strongest team i can uh they're playing a five at the back obviously never fun to play against uh, but yeah, Anarchy Williams, obviously a very good player. Uh, I'm just going to get him sent out and we'll hopefully do our thing. We know that they've got Gillespie in goal, who we discovered not too long ago, not the best keeper in the game. Uh, we'll do our best, boys. We're the team in white because uh, we are in our home kit. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll show you the highlights. First real chance of the game. It does go Newcastle's way as they head the ball over uh, from a cross in from the left-hand side. Thankfully, we uh, escape that chance unscathed. But uh, maybe a bit of a chance here. Actually, we'll stick with this, see if anything happens here. Oh, and boy, does it happen. Man like Moepu, even if we're simming the games, is getting the long-range goals. Things you love to see. I'm chuffing, man. That's six goals this season. That's not too bad from a sort of a box-to-box -to -box sort of holding midfielderish role. Uh, six goals. I'll take that so far. Absolutely fantastic. After, again, them getting the first clear-cut chance. Deli Ali then scores from across. This has been a bit end-to-end. Uh, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Lafont, you can see, gets a hand to it, pushes it to the post, but it's 1-1. Uh, the the short-lived excitement of being 1-0 up is very short indeed. Uh, but maybe on the counter, good effort there from Chrissy Willett. Goes out for a corner. Uh, didn't expect to have such a long replay, uh, or a highlight, I should say, uh, for a, a simmed segment of the uh, the episode. But the corner's not great. Goes all the way over the top, and Wepu kicks it all the way back. Not entirely sure what the thought process is there, but we can rotate it, maybe. It's a good block. Going to rotate it again. It's a good block again. We've got away with one there, boys. We've got away with one there. I'm going to jump in for a little bit and see if I can... Uh, I can sort of see a couple of patterns emerging with how they defend. I'm going to see if that sort of stays true while I'm in the game and if I can maybe get as a goal ahead and then jump back to simming it. As I said, if I can get most of a game simmed, then uh, we'll be okay uh, to play the entire Brighton game. Uh, but here we go. This is sort of what I'm seeing here. If I run across the box, no one really follows him. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Run in front of the, the central three. And no one really seems to follow the man. So let's try it again here. Run across him. No one... Fo oh, we did follow him that time. That's a shame. Tyrese Campbell here in front of the five. Going to play it out wide here to Isaac Coles. I'm going to have a shot at this weird angle. Hopefully that's gone for a corner, not a goal kick. It has gone for a goal kick. That's a real shame. I was hoping to try and just hit it across Gillespie uh, and, and give him something to worry about. But sadly, I didn't quite manage to do so. Uh, and it looks like we are going to have to, to stay in this game for at least a little bit longer. Not a good pass there from Coles. He has been off the ball today. Isaac Coles is not having a particularly good patch of form. Uh, you can see Newcastle fans pretty happy with it being 1-1 at the break. 
obviously first against 18th. They're going to be pretty happy to come away from something if they do manage to see this one through. Hopefully we can stop them. Amos is going to be making his way off here. Alba C is going to be coming on uh, to just offer some fresh legs in the middle of the park. Masengo we know can do a good job at DM, so I have zero issue putting him there. But we need to get something from this. We need to uh, we need to push on and find something. Man like Mambimbi will definitely be getting minutes in the second half. Uh, but again, I I'm going to go with what is our strongest front three really at the moment. Uh, although Isaac Coles, again, not really living up to that. I'll be honest with you. He has been a little bit disappointing today's episode. Lovely switch here from Newcastle. Finds it all the way out to their right-hand side. Good tackle there. Very good tackle there from McCallum. Oh, uh, Isaac Coles picked up a knock. Maybe I've... Uh, Hurt him with my very uh, marking words of his poor performances recently. But Mwepu's going to try and play it through here. Campbell does win it eventually. Or oh, I, I didn't think I had the uh, the footing really to try and take it past the man. So try to turn and lay it off to Mwepu, who was then running through. But uh, it was a bit of a shame we didn't manage to pull that one off. But Masengo into Isaac Coles here. Coles, that's poor again. Isaac, um, you know what? Going to take him off, boys. He has been not great. Yes, he's got a knock, but he has also not been fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, last change going to be Trossard. I'm going all out, boys. I'm going all out. When the ball next goes off the pitch, we're having two attacking players come on. Uh, man like Mambimbi uh, and Trossard on for the slightly underperforming uh, Isaac Coles and Chris Willock. Lovely switch again. They are playing these switches from left to right and right to left uh, very frequently and to pretty good effect. We've got to be careful here. Well done, Mwepu getting back there, winning it. Tyrese Campbell on the ball here. The changes still haven't happened, so we have got Chris Willock running ahead of him. Chris Willock is a little bit wider than I wanted it. However, Willock has got there comfortably. He's going to play it across. And look who's right there. Simple stuff. That's what we needed. We needed space in the middle of the park. And look what happens when we have it. Tyrese Campbell gets his... I want to say 20th, but I don't think it is. However many goals of the season. Uh, I think it's 18th and we're making it difficult for ourselves today. We have made it difficult. The away fans there absolutely buzzing to get the lead, regain the lead, I should say. Uh, and we have managed to do so in not quite as impressive style but thankfully Chrissy Willock who again has been playing pretty well has uh, helped us there with a lovely run doing well to pick up the pass from Tyrese Campbell takes it forward finds Campbell again the 1-2 slightly broken up but very effective 3-1 oh 3-1 2-1 and uh, maybe a chance here to make it 3-1 hold on maybe I was pre pre calling it boys and we've done just that lovely stuff Truss up with an assist Tyrese Campbell doing Tyrese Campbell things and that is scoring goals Oh, okay. Bit of a weight lifted. I feel a lot better about it now. Uh, he's uh, he's done the job. He's done the job in front of goal. I'm not going to watch the replay. And I am going to probably stupidly, I'm going to do exactly what I did in the last game where I lost uh, two points. It's, it couldn't happen twice. It sh surely it can't happen twice. Surely. I honestly started to see horrific flashbacks of that last game with that shot. Thank you, LaFont. Good save. Oh, okay. We can breathe. The game is done. The game is done. Thank God for that. Very happy to have seen that one through. 3-1 in the end. And uh, we do power through in the end. That could have been could have been genuinely horrific if we dropped points again. Thankfully, we don't. And thankfully, we do keep the three points. Uh, that would have been truly terrible. Okay. Okay. We're on 51. Much better turnaround of things. 19 goals now for Campbell. He's absolutely flown. And Jesus has not been scoring in a while. He was the previous sort of competitor for the top golden, uh, golden boot, I should say. But uh, yeah, let's crack on. Uh, we might start the Brighton game as a sim. Maybe. Okay, uh, George Thomas will be going, by the way, to Bristol City. One million uh, was the final fee, 700,000 of which we get. So again, I'm I'm okay with that. He'll be going at January, uh, not end of the season, sorry. He'll be going literally in like two days. Uh, but yeah, just extra funds and uh, another player off the wage books. I might be being stupid, but I am going to jump into a sim. And I do apologize. There's been a lot of simming today. I'm a slightly up against it. I've got a very, very busy week of work. So I know that editing time is going to be a little bit few and far between. But I will jump in again if I need to. Uh, and it's snowing. I've just seen the snow. Right, weather. I'm just going to have it on clear, boys. I won't lie to you. I'm not going to bother with messing around with the football all the time. I'm just going to whack it onto clear because we, I mean, we are in December, but it's happening. I'm going to start with the sim. Again, I apologize. But as I was saying, uh, work at the stuff at the moment is very, very busy. So I don't have as much editing time. And I've already been filming for just short of an hour. So just help speed up the, the editing process. It means I can guarantee get a video out every week. But uh, yes, hopefully the boys do okay. And I will step in if I need to. I won't like throw away points just because of timings. I will play the game if I have to. Hopefully the highlights will keep going our way because we started pretty strong here. Unlucky Tarries. 
Oh, Chris Willett with a good effort there. Good save in the end from Sommer. I forget they've got Sommer, Super Sommer. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's a good start from us here. Sommer with a bad throw. It goes to Moepu. We have a chance to recycle it here. Going to go back to have a pop. Oh, I wouldn't have been mad if he did because we know he's got them in him. But so is Chrissy Willock, mate. Lovely stuff. Really nice bit of play. Uh, Moepu and I think it was Tyrese uh, linking up very, very nicely indeed. But Chrissy Willock on the end of a beautiful bit of play. Scoring a beautiful goal. Lovely stuff. 1-0. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was offside. I was going to say, how have we bottled a sweat, boys? How have we bottled a sweaty goal? We still hadn't scored it, but Chrissy Willock was offside, sadly. Another good chance there, but a good save. Sommer again, keeping them in this right now. We could have been two or three up. To be fair, the offside flag also helping a little bit, but we could have scored a couple so far today. Haven't, but we've, we've looked good for it. Well, that is the half-time whistle. It is 1-0, and I'm not going to lie to you, boys. I'm going to jump in. I, I am not running the risk of throwing stuff away here. I've simmed half the game, uh, and I've obviously had some other simmed stuff for the other game, so I do have enough time to jump in and finish this game. We'll play the second half. Obviously, we've started 1-0 up, but uh, yeah, maybe me jumping in actually is more of a hindrance uh, playing against the Legendary. Didn't really think about that, did I? Lamptey on the ball nice and quickly here. Isaac Coles and uh, McCallum can't really stop him. Antonio's going to play it through. Lafont with a very good save. It needed to be Simmer having a good effort there early doors as soon as the sort of second half has started. Brighton have come out very, very strongly and uh, put us under pressure almost immediately. Luke Amos here going to play it inside to Tyrese Campbell. Tyrese Campbell is going to try and turn. It's going to drop to Isaac Coles edge of the box. I've tried to ping it. Wasn't maybe the best idea I've had today. But uh, yeah, the defenders getting away with it. Still 1-0. Ball here with Chris Willock. He's going to have a pop from range. Oh, just wide of the post. I thought it had found its way into the back of the net. But it was so, so close, but it didn't quite find its way in. I won't lie to you. I thought I was using Tyrese Campbell, and then I clocked the number 21. But that is a good, good effort. It is actually going to be the last thing that uh, Chris Willock does uh, today in the game because it's his last game for the team. We're going to be bringing on Trossard for a little bit of a sign-off. And it seemed very fitting as well that it's up against Brighton. It's up against his old team, uh, and he will also be leaving us after this game, making his move, uh, obviously, in the January transfer window, which for this game, it is the next day. So giving him half an hour, giving him a little bit of a send off. Uh, and I'm sure the Brighton and QPR fans will both be applauding him uh, as he leaves the Premier League. Well, we're making a run here. Going to play it out wide here to McCallum. Nice little one, two. And now Isaac Coles gets it back. Going to try another little one, two. Couldn't quite get the pass with Campbell. That's, I wanted that inside to Amos. I don't know why McCallum's tried to play it across the blooming Campbell, who sat on the floor, boys. But we've got a chance here. Neko Williams does really well to get back there. Very good job there from Neko Williams. And now Amos and Masengo bring it away. Masengo just running down this right-hand side. Going to cut inside. Tries to get it to Trossard, who's yet to have a touch on his final game for us. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's tricky. They're defending so, so well. Cucurella's a baller, by the way. Absolutely love Cucurella. Lamptey again getting forward well here. We've got to be careful. McCallum is helped out by Isaac Coles a little bit. Isaac Coles does get the final touch there. Knocks it out for a corner. Uh, we made a couple of changes. Neko Williams and uh, I think it's Moepu I've taken off as well uh, for Elbasir and for Ozzy Kakai. Both coming on just to shore up again. Fresh legs in the middle of the park. Fresh legs on the right-hand side because Williams... Was a little bit tired. Moepu was the most tired out of the three midfielders as well. Hold on a second, Ozzy Kakai as well to get back there. Trying to make a run as well. I think not, Ozzy, good sir. Look at the run from that man there, though. It's from Trossard. It's a good ball from Campbell. He's not quite going to get the defender. has got to try and do something about it. He doesn't quite get there. It is eventually got away by Clark. That would have been incredibly fitting. I don't know how to do the, like, hold your hands up sort of celebration so you're, like, not celebrating against your old team. I don't know how you do that one because I'm terrible. I don't really celebrate. Uh, outside of career mode, so I'm not too sure. Uh, but Ozzy does well there to block that one. The cross in from Kukure. It's going to be a corner now. Another chance for him to cross it in. Uh, Connolly, I believe that was coming on uh, for Antonio. Yep, it probably will be Connolly. It's a good cross in there. Not a great cross, actually. It was a pretty poor cross. Uh, and Lafont's going to get down to that one as it's blocked a little bit by Ozzy to, to soften the blow as it makes its way through. Uh, and now we have a chance to bring it away. Isaac Cole's on the ball here. Going to just slowly make his way around a little bit. Isaac Cole's going to turn. Pulls it onto his slightly weaker left foot, but he's going to have a shot. It's a good shot as well. It's well saved by Super Summer. Uh, it was on its way into the goal. So it was a good finish or a good uh, good effort, I should say. But it's going to be a cross in there from Campbell. It's going to go out probably for a goal kick. Yeah, it was it was off our player last there. But last minute or so of the game, can we get Trossard a little chance or something? He's had very, uh, very little to work off in the second half because honestly, Brighton have kept the ball really nicely. They, they've pinged it around quite nicely and, and just kept possession. We need to just make sure... We don't concede in these last dying moments here. It's a lovely play, and surely that was offside. 
He was onside. But the main thing is, our man Lafont was equal to it. He was alert and awake. And Elvis is going to try and set away Tyrese. I think he was well and truly away there. But the main thing is, to take from that, it's three points. It's another win. It's been scrappy today. It's been very, very scrappy. Uh, we've picked up plenty of points, obviously, like 10 out of a possible 12, which we will take. Obviously, it's very uh, frustrating the way the uh, dropping of points happen against United, but I've only got myself to blame on that one. So we'll crack on. I'm very happy with that. Again, three points to take from the uh, the game there. And now it's basically a matter of let's let's crack on and let's get ready for this what could potentially be a very, very exciting January transfer window. Very happy indeed. Very happy. Uh, it, that went really, really well. I think uh, we did a, a tremendous job in the end at, uh, of the episode. Obviously, slightly disappointed with the uh, the point against United, which I think just shows how well we're doing that we're disappointed just to get a point against Man United. But uh, the, the boys playing really, really well. Mwepu's gone up to an 81. Uh, Amos now on a 76. The, the team is improving with rating consistently uh we've got a couple of players that we were scouting here i was looking at cole palmer uh quite cheap uh could be a potential rotation option down the line for us maybe uh mariba very very good looking player was a little bit more than i was expecting though seeing that stat same with q2 uh or well, not really same with q2 looks okay though doesn't he uh we've also got dar dardai there is how i'm going to try and say that and then uh nianzu i was just looking at a couple of rotation options obviously we've got a little bit of extra money making its way into the club so it makes sense to have a little look at some of these options uh, Opegaard wasn't quite the rating that I was hoping for, uh, but you can see George Thomas has gone to Bristol City. Leandro Trossard has made his way to Real Sociedad Slater on loan uh, to Ross County. That's the lap is not my player, but he's potentially on his way to Barcelona. Uh, Connor Masterson has gone to uh, Kasim Passa. Kasim Passa, I don't know, 800k is what he's gone for. Uh, a loan offer for Manga. I will not accept a loan to buy, but I will happily loan him around a Manga out for a season or for the rest of the season, I should say. Any updates on our youth players? Uh, nothing particularly. Still that Noah Dunn looks like he's going to be a good little player. Uh, and Edward Terry looks like he could be decent as well. Uh, sadly, uh, Vincente Roman and uh, Simon or Simon Benitez uh, both look a little bit worse for wear. I'll keep hold of them there. I'll probably uh, promote them up at some point and sell them on. Uh, but we have obviously now got some money in the club. £34 million pounds and the, the question really is now, boys, what do we do here? What What is the play? Uh, I think personally, what could be a good option for us is maybe throwing Ethan Pratt on the bench, having Ethan Pratt as our new rotation centre-back and selling Jimmy Dunn. In real life, I would be absolutely furious if we sold Jimmy Dunn. One of our better players, uh, head and shoulders above uh, some other options and things we've had, uh, especially over the last couple of years. Um but yeah, Ethan Pratt may be coming in and being our new first choice rotation centre-back. I reckon we keep hold of El Basir and we maybe get ourselves another rotation midfield option and a rotation winger slash striker. The question is, do we downgrade Willock to be the rotation winger or do we bring in a rotation winger? That's what I'm not too sure of. If we're looking for a rotation wide player, we're probably looking around 73 to 76 rated. If we're looking for a new first team right winger, we're probably going to go for like an 80 rated maximum, maybe an 81 if we can afford it. But I think there's there's plenty of things to consider here. I will have a look off, uh, off video at some options and see if there's anyone that I think we could really look to bring in. Bearing in mind that any players we do sign have to be roughly 30 mil maximum. Uh, as that's what we have to play with. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would do and if there's any players in particular we'd like to see us sign. But that's it for me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, then do leave a like on the video. Support me, the video, the channel, and the series out a whole bunch. If you're new, hit that sub button and turn notifications on to be told any time that we upload a video. If you want to catch us on our live streams, it's Hersey Games over on Twitch. There is a link in the description. And while you're down there, make sure you check out the link to foottrading.co.uk. You can go on there, sign up completely for free and use their free trading guides to earn more coins on your FIFA Ultimate Teams. But if you want to take your trading to the next level and earn those extra coins and check out their paid tiered memberships and you can use code Hersey at checkout to get yourself a cheeky discount. But for now, guys, I'm going to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys are awesome. And I will see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, 
Wash your hands. Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty Games, yeah, you already know. Hursty Games, gonna hurt for days. I'll burst into flames. I'll enter the maze, enter and tain. I'm gonna make it rain. He's kicking and he's taking names. Ah. The one streamer who won the Never bore me, QPR, as a to glory, career on the mode, reading a story, heaven not hell, no purgatory. Hursty Games, now his name is Thomas, no tank engine, yeah I promise, his streams are bomb, uh, Tomic, with his bald head, Wallace and Gromit, <laughs> Hursty games, burst into flames, enter and tain, enter the maze, gonna make it rain, he's kicking, ah, taking names, Hursty Games, ah. Yo, JHG, subscribe to Hursty Games. <laughs>